prologue. I was raised that at every water hole in the wild, that all the animals came together and they were a piece of the puzzle of nature. Act one. Hey Siri, call mom. You see, when I was five years old, my sister, my brother, and my mom and I were walking away from Kmart in the parking lot, and we passed this woman in a car, and she has a little dog um, nosing out the window, and the woman says to her dog, Fifi, say hello to the children. And my mom turns to us, I mean, just right on spot, and says, kids, bark at the dog. <laughs> Act two. On the second ring, my mom answers, and it is fresh bread coming out of the oven. It is roses in bloom. It is, uh, it is a rainbow. She says, hello. I said, hey, mom, I'm running a little bit late, and I, uh, I'm not going to make it until about 1.30. So um, would that be OK? And just like a switch, she turns, and she says, I, I have things to do. I said, I said mom, um, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got caught up. I got backed up. Um, you know what, you know what, I, I really want to see you uh, because I had this letter that I want to read to you. And she said, it's a letter, just send it. And I said, no mom, it, it, it's, I wrote the letter and I want to be there when I read the letter to you. And she says, for crying out loud, it's a letter, just send it to me. And I was like, mom, you, you don't understand, I click. Act three. Those three words were never spoken when I was growing up, at least not that I can remember. In fact, a substitute of those three words were two words, and I always used to think mom was Shakespearean somehow because she was into the brevity of, of, of words. And it was not three, it was two. You see, she's... She's a cook, she's a chef. In fact, at 86, she still owns her own restaurant and she cooks four days a week for an hour and a half only. And instead of saying, I love you, and only in retrospect do I know that those two words are, eat this. <laughs> Act four. Hey Siri, call mom. On the second ring, she answers, it's only two minutes later, hello? Fresh bread, roses, night-blooming jasmine, it's beautiful, rainbows. Like nothing had happened two minutes before. I said, Mom, I know you have things you have to do, and I want to read this letter to you, and since I can't be there, I want to read it over the phone. For crying out loud, just send it to me, it's a letter. Mom, you don't understand. I. I want to be in your presence when I read this letter to you. And there's a moment of pregnancy. And in and, and her exoskeleton, I feel cracks. And, 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 and coming from her throat, she says, is it, is it bad? No, Mom. No, no, it's, it's not bad. It's, it's beautiful. Well, it's a letter. Just send it. <laughs> so I decide to just begin reading the letter. Dear Mom, it's a letter. Send it. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you as my mother. And she goes quiet. Your tenacity, your boldness, your fortitude, your, your, your perseverance, your stubbornness, I claim all of it. 
I know that growing up, we never said I love you. However, now in my life, I feel that the most powerful word in the universe is love. And I tell people that I love, I love them because I do. Your son, I love you. Act five. <sighs> she says, are you done? I said, yeah. She said, bye. Click. <laughs> Epilogue. In my wild, my peace is to love my mother. Thank you.